Our video on Pangea got me thinking, it was time we talked about dinosaurs. So why don't we talk about one of the one of the most well-known dinosaurs? Ooh. Is it Stegosaurus? It is Stegosaurus! We love puzzles! What's the first thing you notice about Stegosaurus? Uh, yes, Alicia, you were first. It, uh, it has flat teeth. That's the first thing you notice, the flat yeah. teeth? You're worried about the Stegosaurus eating you. I noticed that it has plates going from the its neck to the tail, but it leaves maybe two feet left at the tip of its tail to have um, spikes. Right. What do you think the Stegosaurus used those big bony plates for? Uh, yes, Gabrielle. They, um, they use them for shade. Shade is your idea? Yeah. What do you think, Elise? I'm going to tell you what some of the scientists think in a minute, but what do you think? Um, maybe for defense, for flying uh, animals, dinosaurs, or for shade. I also agree. That's an interesting idea. The sun will go and it will hit the dinosaur back or side or leg maybe it will but but probably it's head too so scientists they have several theories about these plates first theory is that they were for defense another theory is that they were used uh at, for show to show off to a potential mate um, if you have big bony plates on your back, do you think that would impress your friends or, or in school? No, no. <laughs> well, it might. It might if you were a stegosaurus. Yes. yes. To look like, hey, girlfriend, look at my muscles. <laughs> okay. Another idea is that they were actually used to regulate temperature of the stegosaurus. So you guys are on the right track with your shade idea. But here's how the, the scientists were thinking. If the dinosaur was too cold, they had these plates up there and they, and they would soak up the sunlight. The plates would actually get heated by the sun. Another way is that they would actually cool the dinosaurs off by having their blood run up through those plates and then it would go back down into their body and uh, cool them off. Yeah, we're on the right track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, at first they thought it was one row of plates. Then they realized it was two rows of plates alternating sort of like they're stepping forward. One plate, then the next plate, then the next plate. Right. So, did you just, did I see you just turn the Stegosaurus plate into the Macarena? One back and two, back and three, Macarena. Stega means rooftop because when they first found a stegosaurus, they didn't understand that the plates were actually lined up, sticking up on top of it. They thought they were laying flat, like a rooftop, protecting it from other dinosaurs, but then they realized they were actually sticking up. What do you think they used those spikes for? The allosaurus might try to get it, and then it maybe could lift its tail up and then whack it into that, its body. Yeah, that's right. Those spikes yeah. are 18 inches long. Are they sharp? Or are they sharp enough? No. I wouldn't want to get hit with one. Do you, do you know what they call those uh, spikes? No. Thagomizers. I th I th that sounds dangerous. Um, do you think um, if you were on the playground and someone was uh, bothering you, you'd like to have a tail with uh, some thagomizers on it, some big bony uh, spiky no, things? No, 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 no. 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 I, I, Nobody would mess with you. But, but I would not be allowed in school. Yeah, and if I hit somebody, the supervisors might say like, principal's office for you. Principal's office right now, I'm sorry. What's a biped? It's something that walks on two legs. Right, a biped walks on two legs. I'm Elise, a biped. You are a biped. And it, well, do you know what a quadruped is, Elise? Since she just told us what a biped is. I think I might know what a quadruped is. What? 
something that walks on four legs. Do you think this Stegosaurus is a biped or a quadruped? Uh, yes, Elise. Uh, a quadruped. Guys, what do you call a meat-eating dinosaur? Yes, Gabrielle. Carnivore. A carnivore, that's right. What kind of dinosaur is the Stegosaurus? Is it a carnivore or a herbivore? Herbivore. Herbivore, right. It eat a lot of ferns and other kinds of uh, primitive plant life. Um, so you could eat a pear. I, I think you could eat a pear. If, um, if pears pear. were around, then I don't know that yeah, pears if, were around. If then. you just folded out a pear in front of one, would it eat your hand or would it just eat the pear? You know, I've held out a carrot to a horse yeah. and, the, and the horse is never really interested in eating my hand. It just goes for the carrot. I was feeding carrots to a giraffe when at a field trip in school and I'm like, here you go and, it, and then it, it licked me. Well, it was they have purple tongues <laughs> yes. and long tongues. How did it feel? It felt wet. So, uh, Elise, yes or no, Stegosaurus at your house as a pet? Uh, maybe, possibly, because we live by a forest, so maybe it could maybe live there. Okay, Gabrielle? It's a definite no. Oh, why? Because they're big, and if you put a fence around them, like a normal fence, they could just smash or walk right over it. It doesn't want to eat you, but it might crush you. Let's put some other things next to the Stegosaurus to compare its size. Whoa! Gabrielle, I don't really feel comfortable standing next to this kind of huge dinosaur. They are herbivores, Elise. They only eat plants, remember? What about an animal that you could, maybe it's an animal you could ride. You could kind of take off one of those plates from the middle of its uh, back there. I'm not sure that that would be the nicest thing to do, but then you could sit up there and put a saddle on there and ride it around. If I was gonna ride it, I would not take plates off of it. Yeah, I would just go between it. Okay. Yeah, because it's like, is that? That's true, you kind of have, you're right. You have a, ch that's much more, uh, that's much more humane uh, to not take a plate off but to just sit in between the, yeah, that's the two rows safe. of plates. Yeah, it's safe that way. And you have to train the Stegosaurus to do this. Well, you know, you know, training the Stegosaurus might be difficult because it had a brain the size of a walnut, which is not big. It's, it's and really, really small. Yeah, it's, it's as small big as brain. your ear. Thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to subscribe, and if you like this video, hit the like button! We'd love to hear from you, but we don't have comments anymore, so we put our email address in the description below. And if there's a video you want to see, let us know about it! See you next time! Bye! The most important piece in our puzzle is you. Be sure to like. Tell us what you think. And share us with your friends. 
And of course, subscribe.